Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? I know that was an odd intro. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this band director. I'm sure you guys have already seen this going around in the Birmingham Police Department. I just want to get my thoughts on it. So what happened was this band director um, was sitting at the game, right? And they everybody had told them they need to go home. You're supposed to leave after a certain amount of time. Well, they, they decided to stay and keep playing band music. And then that's when you're seeing the, the pretty much the dash cam of the cops saying, hey, you need to go. Here we go. I don't understand, and this is the hard part, is why you would decide to keep playing if the cops tell you to just leave. Like, I, I understand having pride, guys. I really understand having pride. And some people would be like, hey, I'm completely within my rights. But from what I heard, okay, it could be completely wrong. And what I read was that they, it was already in set that they were supposed to leave. The people who owned in this county say, hey, you got to be gone by a certain time. Be off the field. And they said no. <laughs> been in band okay y'all know i was in band for a large vast amount of life and this is obviously a high school band it sounds like so i was in high school band for seven years well not, not seven years i was in band for seven years in band all four years anytime the game ended we may play the school song and we're gone i've never seen a band stay after when everybody's off the field the football players are gone there's nobody left the crowd has left there's nobody here and they just keep playing. I, I don't I've never seen that. If y'all can explain that to me, I have never seen that. And I played against tons of bands. I've always been to state competitions. I've never seen a band just stay over for the sake of staying over. <laughs> Like, yeah, with the field lights being turned off, like, why are we still here? And I'm a band member. If I was me, I'd be like, uh, can we go home? I'm not trying to be here all night. Because if you've ever been in band, you normally have to march. Or if, unless you're not a marching band, if you're that uh, a core band, which does more of the dancing. But as far as I was in a marching band, and it's like, man, when this time, when, like, when the game's over, we are already taking on. The uniforms are hot, boy. Even if you could take off the top part, which you can normally after halftime, the uniforms are still hot. The pants are not breezy. I mean, it's just uncomfortable. It's not fun being in a marching outfit. I never liked wearing one. To me, it's like, man, get me out of this. You know, so I don't understand why he would keep making them play. I'd be like, coach, or uh, sorry, sir, Mr. Johnson, whatever his name is. Can we go home? I just want to go home. Can we do that? Nope. I know they're going to defend him, but it's like, come on now. Come on. And listen here, another thing I want to say about this man is I understand the kids are into it. And you think, well, the kids were hype, but dude. I there's one thing I got to say, and I, once again, I don't know the whole story. I'm sure it'll come out. Maybe he'll have an interview. But I want to say this. Guys, if you're a grown man, grown woman, I, I know what it's like to work with kids. One of the biggest mistakes you can make. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is letting the kids dictate what you do. I don't need no kids cheering me on. Like I don't get any gratification from kids being like, good job, Mr. Trey. <sighs> Bro. And I've told students this before. I'm like, I don't care if you want to cheer me. I don't need your, I don't need you to hype me up. I don't get any gratification from you at all. At all. Okay. Don't yell. Don't cheer me on. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't have fun with the kids. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying it sounds like vindication because all the kids are like, yeah. But to me, it's like, why do you want that from children? These children have nothing to lose. I'm going to be one going to jail and I'm going to be put on national TV looking like a fool because I'm the adult in this situation. 
the kids, it doesn't matter. They're just going to scream and say, no, don't do this. They, they're children, man. They're not thinking like completely logical. Some kids just think that, wow, you're standing up to the man or good job, band director. We're sitting here playing with the field lights off. Great job. Like, no. All right, so this this is where he gets arrested and then he's gonna end up getting tased. I'm sure you've seen the video. I don't feel like showing it that much because really one, it's really hard to see. It's super hard to see. They keep telling him, well, we gotta show a little bit because you won't understand the context. So pretty much this band director keeps doing this and he, uh, they try to get him to get arrested but he keeps resisting after a while. See right here? And so eventually he just will not give in. And so this leads to him getting tased. And actually when you hear you hear the taser go off, but you can't really see him go down until a little bit after here. About right here. They're still he's still, you see he's still resisting. They're trying to grab his arm. And he's like, hey, I'm gonna tase you. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. And he, he shocks him. Doesn't work. Then he hits him again. He hits him again, and this one put him down. You can see the wires come out, kind of. You see this right here? You can see the wire come out, and then just they hit him. And that, that puts him down. That puts him down. So here he is. He gets shocked one time, and he resists. And that second one, that puts him to the ground. And then you hear everybody screaming. It's so loud in my ears. But that's what happens. So here's my thing on all of this, man. I understand people want to be like the cops just can't do whatever they want to. I get that. My thing is, though, it is better to see another day than to go through this. OK, you'll have your day. If you believe what they're doing wrong, you can have your day in court. But if it was me, I'd have just said, you know what, man, let's go. Let's go home. There's no reason for us to be here. Um, do now the question really isn't she had been arrested. I think most people are OK with that part. I think people are saying, should he have been tased? Well, if you're resisting arrest and they're trying to arrest you and you're you're, you're pushing this along, wh there's no, guys, there's no easy way to arrest somebody who's resisting. Everybody wants to be like, well, you didn't have to put them on the ground. Well, you didn't have to do this. You didn't have to. Have you ever tried to get, make somebody go against their will? And if they don't want to be put in handcuffs, have you ever tried to do that? I have tried to restrain people in my life. I've retrained people from adults, from little kids, all the way to adults in my, when I've done in my work. And I'm telling you, and I was also a security guard. I'm not a security guard. Uh, um, what do you call it? A bouncer. I was a bouncer at a club. Like, you know how hard it is to get people to go against their will? It is insane how hard people fight. And there's no easy way to do it when somebody starts to resist. So to say, what well, did they have to do this? Did they have to do that? What would you do? Have you been in this situation? I'm not trying to say if you don't, if you haven't been in this situation, you can't have some, some logical advice. But if, I mean, if they were just beating him up with battens and punch him in his face and, you know, doing crazy things that was unnecessary. Yeah, I get that. They're just beating him to the ground and he's not resisting. But it's like, well, you, somebody's resisting like that. It's like, what do you want me to do? You want me to slam him to the ground? Because when people get slammed to the ground, people are like, oh, wow, you had to slam them. And, or when they take you to the ground, it's like, why? You have to put them on the ground. And it's like, it was, or when they eventually get tased, it's like, oh, you had to tase them. It's like, bro, like, what do you want me to do? I am trying to get a man on the ground against his will. And you want me to do what exactly? How strong do you think a police officer is? Do you think they're Mark Henry? OK, do you think they're Brian Schroman? Do you think they're Eddie Hall? Do you think these are the strongest men on the planet where if somebody's resisting that I can just be like, oh, and just put their hands together and be like, all right, put on the handcuffs. Nobody is that. There's very few people in this world that are that strong where they can just take somebody's arm and just put them together. OK, it just doesn't happen. It's hard to if you watch cop videos when it comes to uh, teenagers, you see one cop with one teenage with one teenage girl. A man trying to get a teenage girl in handcuffs by himself is incredibly hard because somebody's fighting and squabbling. And you're trying to put their hands together. It's not an easy thing to do. So I just don't understand what else you what what would you have had them do to get him in the handcuffs if he's fighting the entire time? 
Okay, if it's not tasing, okay, would you be okay with they slammed him to the ground? Would you be okay with that? Would you be okay if they got to his knees and just buckled his knees out and just took his legs out and he went face plant into the ground? It's like, how do you expect this to happen, people? Don't resist the rest, man. I understand having your pride, but now you're tased. And now we got to make this into it. And these, were, and what I could see, these were not, this was not a, and I'm not going to get into that. The point is, this doesn't have to be a police versus civilian thing. It's just a, listen to what you're being told, man. And this could have been avoided. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe the cops hated him and they, they just really wanted to put him on the ground. They hated him. They hate his family. They hate everybody. Think about him. That they see him on the streets, they'll arrest him again just for looking funny. Okay, if you want to go to the extreme, fine. But sometimes I don't think it's as serious as it is. I think this man resisted arrest when they told him to leave and he didn't. And now he got tased and now he's going to jail. Okay, for resisting arrest, for sure. When I think they just told him to go. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe y'all have the deeper story. Maybe there's something deeper. Maybe if I... I'm not going to get into that. I just think it's foolish sometimes when people are like, oh, but you didn't really. Did you read about this article and this article 13 years ago when he was a young man? He had it's like, dude, come on. Anyway, I'm going. Peace.